Hashtag Verse TV week 159. It's coming from anonymous because I, I, I made it anonymous for um, a, a long story, but, but I made it anonymous because it applies to places anywhere. And it said dating in anywhere because the, the person actually named the city, but I blocked out the city because this applies to in, any place, but dating in somewhere be like any meeny miny mo. I hope this one is not a hoe. And I will, wait a minute, did we, yes. And the main question we're answering with this one is how can any metropolitan area generate an abundance of a specific kind of person? Like when people are like, I can't be here because everybody is the same dating here and it's not worthwhile to keep dating here because everybody is the same. And we will get into that, but I will do the, uh, okay. So put the three minutes on. I believe that people are always diverse in personality. I, I, I don't think that any particular metro area has a monolith of people. I, I believe there's always gonna be a mix and uh, yeah, like we, we, we've spoken with professional matchmakers who are on both sides of this debate. Some say that the, you um, have to sometimes move because everybody in a certain area acts a certain way. And others are like, no, you can find your match where you are because there is somebody who thinks just like you where you are. And hetero, hetero then homo license argue. Oh, this story. Okay, yeah. And um, as, as far as people being the same, uh -huh. I remember where, where I live, there was somebody who, a heterosexual couple um, got into an argument and the guy was banging on the door for the woman. And he was like, open up this door, open up this door so I can come in, beat your ass, get my stuff and leave. And I was like, oh no, please don't open the door. Please don't open the door. And I also heard in that same time frame a homosexual couple get into a similar argument. And I remember speaking with our friend Jerry, just Jer from the Everything and Then Some podcast, which he co hosts with the Lucky Lab. And Jer said, he's like, yeah, dudes out here can be like that. And maybe there's something in the water. And I was like, wow, you know, as much as I like a powerful man and that's cute, abuse is never cute. And yeah, accents do differ. And so it makes sense that there could be some commonalities, but I feel that if your life has led you to X location, then your match says your match's life could have led them to that same, should have led them to that same location. And that's not impossible. Even if you all are one in a million and your partner is one in a million, you, you all can be right there. Anyway, that's it for me. Kevin? Um, actually, with that statement, um, when I first read it, I realized, one, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it's kind of true. So, like, 
really, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I really don't, and I don't know why I'm drawing a blank now. But that was my main segment. It's right, whatever else I was going to say that I forgot. But the main segment I was making was that, yeah, it's kind of funny, but it's kind of true at the same time. Hmm. So you believe that in a certain area, people can be all kind of the same. And you're in a situation like, oh, I hope this one's not a hoe because so many people in this area are hoes and that's related to this area. Kind of like, like you said, it'd be most, but not all. Jasmine, you're back. And what do you have to say, friend? Yeah, we, we know everybody's not exactly the same, you know, you got your own, you know, kinds of you know, things you, you love more than something else or don't like or whatever. <laughs> but then you're gonna, you know, like whatever, like somebody else. So yeah, I agree. Generate abundance. What does that mean? Generate abundance. Is that the other question? Oh, I know. Generate is like accumulate. Yep. Generate an abundance of a specific kind of person. Yeah. Like okay. how in the post, the guy I was think. like, it, dating in oh. this area. Oh everybody you're like oh I hope this person's not a hoe because this area hoes. so it's like okay. how can one area have more hoes than another area um, like the same way anything else that you know for sure that makes sense like if uh, like with that uh, some places that in an area or whatever wherever you are area of a area or whatever it's not like you know it's more of course it's not legal but you you can do it say if it was legal or or it's more like whatever you know more popular and allowed you can you can do that thing, you know so, yeah kind of like you know over here in certain areas that letter or whatever you you know certain things are going to be popular more popular than somewhere else like I, I heard in LA they they have a lot of um, gay people over there that live there in a certain city. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's something I know. So I don't know where else, but yeah, certain areas are popular for whatever certain things. Like uh, here is super super hot, but that's like a lot of places. But yeah, so. <laughs> That's my take. <laughs>